We'll guide you through how to make labels from an Excel list or spreadsheet. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Here's the list or spreadsheet with the addresses in. And then what you need to do is go and open up Word and you need to go to the top and click on mailings and click on start mail merge. Then select labels and you'll go and get this pop up. Now what we can do is go and choose the labels. So what you want to do is choose a vendor. I've just got Microsoft selected, but there are loads of different ones here. I've got one selected and I'll then go and click OK, like so. And then what you need to do is go and click on select recipients and click on use an existing list. Now find the spreadsheet you want to do this with. When you have it selected, click on open. You'll need to select the sheet, which I've got selected. And here it is. Now what we need to do is choose what we want on the label. So go to the top and click on just above insert merge field on the icon. And now we can choose how we want the address to be. So I'm going to start a first name. I'll then press insert and close. Hit a space, then click on that same button just above merge field. And I then want to add in the last name and I'll click insert. I'll then press close and I'll press enter. You get the idea. So now I head back to the top, click on that same button and we'll have the address. I'll click on insert then press enter and I'll go and add in the city. I'll then select postcode, click insert and that is how it's looking. I'll press close. Now all you want to do is go to the top and click on update labels so it goes and repeats it and then you can click on finish and merge at the top. You can click on print documents like so, select all and press OK. For the printer I just select print to PDF just so I can see how it looks. I'll press OK and I'll go and save it. It's now saved and let's go and open it up to go and see how it looks. And that's it. That is how our addresses go and look. You can then just print out the PDF or go back to Word and go and print it as we went and saved it as a PDF. 